Hi, welcome. Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a screen replacement on an iPhone 7. Here, I'll walk you through from the beginning to the end, step by step on how to replace the front glass crack screen. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Make sure your phone is turned off. And the next step you need to have is this 0 0.8 star or the torque screwdriver. You want to remove the two screws at the bottom here. Once you, you remove the two screws, let's put the uh, screwdriver on the side. The next step is to get the metal prying tool. And this metal prying tool is to go ahead and separate the crack screen and uh, away from the iPhone. So I'm trying to find a weak spot. I usually start from the bottom here and it goes in right about this much. You don't have to stick a lot in. You want to stick it in right about this much that is more than enough to separate the screen. So the goal here is to run sideways. So you're running sideways against the, uh, the glass is to cut the adhesive. So this phone here is water resistant, or you can say like the uh, uh, the dust proof to prevent the dust getting into the phone. So there is a seal, like a double sided adhesive tape that seal all around the phone. By running this metal prime tool here is to separate the seal or break the seal. All right, when it comes to the top part, I like to use my my left hand, the finger holding onto the screen while using the prying tool to separate the, the entire glass. Now, once the glass is separated, you can open up the phone to your right and you can see that the um, this gooey little black thing is the seal to prevent the water or the uh, the dust coming into it. All right, so at this point, here I will flip it to the right. As you can see that the cables are still connected to this. Um, the, I mean, the screen cables are still connected to the phone. And what you would like to do is to remove the screw and the bracket. The next step is I'll be using the tri screw, screw or the Y screw. All the screws are not the same size. So what you want to do is make sure you lay it out in the right position. And later on, when you put them back together, you know where the screws are. So there are four Y screw in this process. Once you remove the four Y screw, you can pop open the, the bracket here. Once the bracket is open, the next step is you can disconnect the uh, the battery. This is the battery connector. Go ahead and get a plastic prying tube and just separate it for now. The next step is this flex cable here is your, this one here is for the, um, the digitizer and the LCD. So go ahead and disconnect that too. And here you want to use a Phillips screwdriver Remove the two screws and you can open up the bracket. Just remove it and disconnect the front camera and the speaker, the flex cable on this part. So once you have done that process, go ahead and move the screen on the side here. Now this is the new screen and this is the original old screen. What I'm trying to do is I'll be transferring the home button over to the new screen, as well as the speaker and the front camera. What I'll do is I'll link all the tools and my new screen here in the description below. I got them from Amazon. 
this is not a sponsored video but affiliate link that when you click onto Amazon or eBay it will direct you to the right website with the right tools with the right screen and if you bought it I'll get a small kickback from Amazon or eBay so check out the link in the description below I'll list them down there I'll be using a Phillips screwdriver here removing the screws And again, the screws are not all the same size, so make sure you do not mix match the screw. Have the screw in the right position so that you can, you know where to put them back later on. All right, so now you remove the uh, speaker. Here might be a bit of a challenge for you, but don't worry. You just got to take your time, slowly and gently. You want to um, separate the proximity sensor so sometimes they kind of glue it themselves or they are sitting in a bracket firmly you just have to go in and pry it open you see that bracket right there this bracket here so this is just a bracket for the proximity sensor to insert into to rest into the right position so I was using the trying tool to pry it open now the next step here is to go ahead and lift the uh, this piece right here and try to tuck underneath. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to remove the entire piece, including the uh, including this one right here, the the ear protector, because I'm trying to get underneath this cable here with the four little dots. This one here is for your speaker connector. You need to go underneath to separate that cable. All right. So once you separate it, I was referring to this earlier is the earpiece protector, right? So we can always remove it. We don't need them, but it's a lot easier if you remove them all together in one piece. All right. So we'll be saving this one, transferring to the new screen. Now the next step here I like to do is to remove the bracket and this bracket here is the one that is holding on to the home button. So there are four screws. Once you remove the four screws, you can remove the bracket. And again, you want to come back here and take a look at the connector. This connector here, you want to flip it to your left. So it opens up to your left. And then the connector at the bottom, you just want to lift it up. Now the home button is exposed. The next step is I'll be using the metal prying tool. I tuck it underneath the home button cable. Do not break it or cut it. All right, because um, if you break it or damage the home button, your touch ID would not work. So this is held by double-sided tape. I'm just slightly gently and slowly remove the cable. Once the cable is loose, you can just push it over and the home button would fall off on the other side. And this is the double sided tip I was talking about. Okay. Now we are pretty much close to be done, but not quite yet. We still have to remove the uh, back plate. So let's go ahead and remove the screws on the side here.
Okay, once you have removed all the six screws, here what I like you to do is to get your metal prying tool to go ahead and stick it in between the metal and the flex cable so that you can separate them together, right? So stick it in between and just separate the back cover. This is your original screen. You can move that on the side. We don't need it anymore because we'll be using the new screen here. Okay, so what the next step is to transfer the back plate, the one that we just removed. Go ahead and align them in a position. Okay, and put the six screws back together. By the way, this is the Y screwdriver or the tri screwdriver. The screws look like a Y shape. Right, once you have all the six screws in the right place, oops, I missed one here. Let's redo it again. All right, all, once they're all in the right place, what you want to do is you want to insert your home button from the front, coming in from the front. Okay, align them in the right position here and you want to flip the flex cable the connector here open so that the home button can rest underneath and clip it and connect it back together simple as that all right lay it flat we are going to close up the uh, the bracket close it back up again all right four screws put them all back together if you're still watching the video and we are almost done, so it's more than 50%. We are putting things back together, so we are close to done. All right, so the next step here I'd like you to pay attention to is the connection here. So the cable here has two little holes, and if you see carefully, there's two little holes here. You mesh them right in the center, and it will sit right on top that hole. In the right position okay once you sit them in the right position now you want to align the proximity sensor back to the bracket so go ahead and align them and when you press it down you can feel like it sit flush flush meaning that it sit flat right across the base okay when you use the finger and you press on it you can feel like it is sitting just flat okay now the next step here, you look at the speaker, this, this four little gold dots. The gold dots, what you want to do is you want to sit them on top of the cable. Sit it right on top of it and then close the camera above the speaker. Now get the bracket, close it down. And we are ready to put the screws back in.
I would like to thank thank you in advance for watching my video and I hope that this video helps you to repair your iPhone 7 screen and if you have any comment please write it below uh, any question comment below uh, I would read your question and try to answer back to you and please go ahead and click the like and subscribe if you haven't and if this video helps um, just let me know all right so the next step is i like to connect the everything back to the phone so this front camera cable go ahead and press it down they are just like lego once you insert them in the right position you can press it down and they'll just go back in very easily you don't have to force it or press it really hard they are just like lego you can feel it when it goes back in now just put the uh, bracket back together so there are two screws on the top here remember that Okay, and the final bracket, let's put it back on top. Get your Y screwdriver. Yeah, just a reminder, if you're not sure where to buy the tools from or where to get the screen from, I have them linked in the description below. I got mine from Amazon. Um, they are not that expensive. I think they run about in the 30s. Um, maybe the price might change the time that you watch the, the video. So at this point, I think I paid for $30 or so. Um, and you would, you know, get the screen fixed, right? So hopefully that works for you now you if you look at the top here there's a little bracket you want to align it and push it in from the top so align and push it in from the top once it sits through it go ahead and press it it will snap back in okay and you can turn on the phone and see if it works all right there you have it you can just peel off the uh, plastic cover later on and i hope this video helps and if it does please comment below subscribe and like the video thanks for watching good luck with the repair and i hope you learned something today bye now